a password for my Gmail, another one for my computer. It's always such a hassle remembering so many passwords. And clearly, our parents' generation isn't the only one struggling. So, on the occasion of World Password Day this week, Google introduced a new passwordless technology. This authentication technology is called passkeys, and it can be used for signing into your Google accounts. But passwords or passkeys, they kind of sound similar. Well, they also perform the same function, but the way it's done is different. Password is a unique string of digits, alphabets, and special characters that are known only to the user. Since they're very complicated to remember, users like me often tend to reuse them across several sites and apps. Hence, if a hacker gets his hand on one account, it's a cakewalk to hack into your life. Whereas pass keys, on the other hand, use biometric authentication like the fingerprint, face scan, or a screen lock pin that is set up on a single device, pretty much like your phone lock. So a hacker will need your device and the passkey to get into your account. Developed by Google, Apple, and Microsoft, passkeys are now supported across Google accounts like YouTube, Gmail, and Workspace. Once you set up the passkey, it will synchronize across all your devices via Google Password Manager and iCloud. The iCloud that you're signed into and has the same Google account. Now, Google claims that passkeys are resistant to online attacks like phishing, making them more secure than things like SMS OTPs and one-time codes. This is clearly a watershed event in the tech world, given that billions of users use Google accounts every day. All these users can now ditch their passwords and create their own passkeys. Passkeys are also supported across devices, be it Android, iOS, or Windows. Here's how they work. When you sign up on a website with a password, it gets stored on the website. Hence, the passwords that these websites save become a goldmine for hackers, which is not the case when it comes to passkeys. When you create a passkey, the system generates a pair of cryptographic keys, one private and one public. The public key is saved on the website and the private key is saved on user's device. One is useless without the other. So when you log into the site, it will send a request to your device, and once you approve it on your device, only then will it allow the access to your account on the site. While hackers might get their hands on the public key via the website, it definitely won't be easy for them to access your account without the private one. So is this the end of remembering your password era and start of a new passwordless generation? Well, what do you think? Let us know in the comments and like the video. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.